Alright guys, Gary here. Buzz opening it up with Ace King offsuit. 20, a very small raise in this game. Again, it's 5-5 five five with the $5 ante. There's a bajillion dollars at the pot. He's just juicing it up for action. And it looks like it's going three bet, four bet from Ace King Deuces. Equal equity, equity hands in this in this particular situation. Maybe Eli shouldn't be going completely bananas with deuces, but at the same time, making this four bet could be better than just calling. I would agree with that if I was talking to myself. Now, Wop is hitting buzz, but Eli equally. Well, it's going to make it a really small bet. Eli is in quite the spot with deuces for the heart. Not the optimal position of play, but at the same time, he does have a heart. He does have a pair. If his opponent does have a hand like ace queen, even with a heart, he's ahead. So it's hard to fold for that small bet. I would also make that call. Now, on this card, I feel even better about Eli's hand. All the hands that Buzz is representing are either bluffs or losing to Eli. Now, Buzz is reaching for chips. I'm not quite sure what he's trying to accomplish, if he's going to bet here. Maybe he wants to stomp, like, stomp the action down and, and take control. Looks like he bets about half pot. Eli calls. I think this is a great call from Eli. I, I can't imagine folding a heart at this point. Now Buzz is in a really sticky situation. He knows that his hand is probably not good now that Eli is called. Eli probably has a heart. Now Buzz could, ha could have some hands like Ace Queen or Ace Jack with a heart that he might do this with. Maybe, I think it's crazy, but maybe he could have sets. I would hope not. Now, you're looking at a situation, as far as you being Buzz, where he has top two pair. He really wants to win this pot. And he just rips it. He just rips it in. And Eli is in the pits of hell. What can he possibly do about this? He's got one heart in his hand, and one heart is a chest. I mean, I don't know what I would do here with this hand. Maybe I don't have this hand personally, but if I did have a hand like sixes with a heart, or like eights, or nines with a heart, it's a really tough spot to be in it. All those hands are completely the same thing. Buzz is representing kings with a heart, or I'm sorry, it can't be represented. Ace king with a heart, no, it can't be represented. I, whew, ace queen with the queen of hearts, basically, or queens with a heart, maybe even like queen jack with a heart. Such a tough spot for you, Eli. Now, if you're Eli, what kind of hands were you calling to turn with? Maybe hands like sets, like fives or eights, maybe even like a hand like a king. Could have king queen suited, king jack suited, king ten suited. None of those have a heart. Could have king queen offsuit with a heart. And he makes the call. What an animal. What an animal! You gotta think about what Buzz is doing here. You know, like his hand is so good on, on the flop and the turn. 
he's merging his range where he decides to bet top two. And, you know, assuming he bets like a set of aces, set of kings, it was a format, format of a preflop. Maybe hands like queens with a heart, jacks with a heart, queen jack, queen, queen jack with a heart, jack or queen of heart. It's gonna be like really putting you in a bad spot when you have a random hand like deuces with a heart. But when you're Eli, what can you do when you have a heart? You have a lot of hands that don't have a heart. Very aggressive on both accounts. I like when players fight for the pot. I don't, I don't admire passive play. Even though sometimes you have to play carefully in situations and being a check monkey in a pot could be the best possible way to play the hand. Generally speaking, firing away is the way to win the money.